Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. <clears throat> so we are... So we were in the leech, the ox, the bear. So... What do we want to start with? I guess let's continue with the... Let's continue with the ox because we got the item that we were looking for, which is the sewing kit. And that's the fields. So I have to make some of those doll things, I think. So that would be... Wow, there are a lot of reagents for some of these things. Which spice? Sewing kit. We only really have one of those. So we need this. I don't know if we'll need more than one, but we'll start with that. Here's the bandits. So rattle. Okay. I'll take that. Bandit boss. Ah, sly old fox. How'd you manage to get your creaky bones past me grunts? My mooks must be getting fat round the waist to let you slip by so easily. Never too old to teach some youngins their hands are better left out of people's pockets. Next time I catch one of your thugs rooting for gold, they'll have to recount their fingers. Ha ha ha. Ain't afraid of nothing, are you? Well, let me be the first to welcome you to our merry camp. Though I suspect you didn't come here just to scold us. What do you know about the ox who works the southern fields? He told me his family might have come through this way. Oh yeah, we know all about the ox. We also might have seen that family of his. But on the other hand, maybe we didn't. What's it to you? Listen up, you big lug. That information is just about the only thing stopping me from changing the whole lot of you into stinking chickens. Alright, Granny. No need to get upset. We was just playing games, you know? Yeah, we seen that family. A boy and his mom, if I remember. Always walking in that big ox's shadow. Always looking afraid of him, too. So you didn't kidnap them? Where are they now? You know, you remind me of... My dear old Ma, she didn't take no gruff from no one either. Ah, she used to bake the most delicious meat pies. I sure do miss her cooking. Me and the boys have been awful hungry lately. Thieving is hard work, and crime doesn't always pay. Say, do you know how to bake? I even got Ma's pie spice, or pie recipe right here. Who knows, on a full stomach I might even remember something about that missing family. Humble pie. So let's see. We need roast beast, dough, rose foot. Okay, so that's up here. We need the witch spice. Okay, so we could make one of these. We need another milk, which is easy to do. And then we just need the crow's feet. Crow's foot. Okay, I think if we used these traps, we might be able to catch one. Alright, we need how many crow's feet? Two. Alright, so we need milk and crow's feet. So we gotta find that cow, which I think is over this way. Okay. Yep, there it is. Now we need another crow. Oh, I heard one. There it is. So ridiculous. All right. Now we can make our pie. Craft 
What am I missing? Oh, the grain. That was in... I think it was up north here. Talk to the bandit guy. Oh good, they're not they're not mean at me anymore. Mean to me. There you go. B five fo fum. I want pie in my tummy tum tum. Come on then, have a helping. The bandit plunges his hand into the pie, grabbing a fistful. He barks in delight. Uh delish, just like how my ma used to make. But something's different. He picks a small black feather from between his yellowed teeth. Is this crow? I figured you could do with a serving of humility. Ah, what? What's the matter, dearie? Are the spices too strong? Nah, it's it ain't the spices. It's just it's just. Oh, he's crying. Ma always said I was a bad seed. Said I weren't good for nothing but eating and thieving. But all I really wanted to do was dance. I was gonna make the greatest dance troupe the world had ever seen. Had a name in mind and everything. Pick and the leap in pockets. But, but, I ain't been doing nothing but talking. Always talking. Oh, Ma was right. I'm a bad apple. Come on now, dry those eyes. You're not all that bad. You really think so? You gently reassure him with another helping of pie. Of course not. You're gonna tell me all about that ox's family, aren't you? Oh, we're right. Well, you see, we've been spying on that ox for years now. Every full moon, he'd go out into his fields all by his lonesome. He'd howl at the sky. What was it he'd say? Oh yeah, he'd yell, Abraca corn cob. Then it always sounded like he got into an argument with someone, but there was never anyone else there, except that creepy old scarecrow of his. Oh, wow. That's a good lad. Maybe it's time to think about trading the jaggers for dance shoes. He stuffs more handfuls of crumbling pie between his lips. Yes, I'll do that. I'll dance. Aww. Well, that was sweet. All right, so we're going to continue with with Ox. Let me actually track this one. So speak to the Scarecrow. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. The Scarecrow's possessed or something. He's making a deal to have his crops grow. Just eerie. Yep. This eerie sim... Simulacrum? Of a human sways in the breeze. Its lumpy face seems to leer down at you as if expecting something. Ah, Abraca Corncop? The figure creaks against its pole as its vegetative head twists to look at you. It takes a wheezing breath, expelling a moth from its mouth hole. Hello, yes. Have you come to strike a deal with the great and magnanimous Harvest Master? Ugh, no thank you. I'm involved in quite too many dark contracts with supernatural beings already. Why then have you summoned me? Has the Ox made a deal with you, perchance? The Ox? Why yes! Terrible trade, I say. But a deal is a deal. What sort of trade? 
Does it have to do with his missing family? Yes, he said he wanted to win pretty prizes, grow the best crops, said he would give up anything in the world. So he offered me his wife and son, and I'm not one to refuse a bargain like that. Where are they? What did you do with them? Don't worry, they're fine, but as long as I make the crops grow, they belong to me. And if the crops should fail, your deal would be broken. Ha! I am the great harvest master. My harvest will never fail. We'll see about that. I better take a closer look at these prize-winning plants. Ooh. It's going to get... Ooh, withering can. Hmm. These stalks don't look so sturdy to me. A good herbicide ought to shrivel these right up. That'll teach that ox a lesson about proper agricultural practices. I'll need a sturdy enough vessel to hold the poison, though. Maybe I can convince that vegetal fellow to give up that nice big watering can of his. You're going down, Ox. Okay, so do we know how to make the poison? Uh... No, I don't think we do. Not yet. Let's go talk to him about getting that watering can. Alright, I think he was this way. I mean, I have a map. I could always just look. Yeah, straight, uh, straight north. Digital farmer. Well, hello again. Find anything out about what that ox is up to? As a matter of fact, I have. It seems he traded his family to a turnip wizard, or a field genie, or some other such nonsense. Ah, you must mean the harvest master. That explains a lot, actually. Bad business to get mixed up with that sort of fellow. The farmer nervously wipes his brow with the back of his leafy hand. Er, not that I would know anything about that myself. Listen. I don't have time to exchange farm gossip. I need to borrow your watering can over there. Ah, I'd be happy to lend it to you, but unfortunately I still need it to grow my prize-winning vegetables. You glance down at the fat head of cabbage bobbing gently against a blanket of big swaddling leaves. You think you may have heard of a, a, fr a faint giggle coming from deep within the fronds. Seems plenty big enough to me. Ugh, just you wait. My little baby is going to grow up to be a great big baby. It's going to be the belle of the, the ball as this year's festival. But if it were to, say, grow a little bit faster, I suppose I wouldn't need my watering can at all. You swear the farmer winks at you, despite not being equipped with any eyes. <sighs> Does nobody here grow produce in an honest way? Let me take a look at the little tyke. You look down at the fattest little cabbage you've ever seen. But if it gets your hands on that watering can, it could stand to be a little fatter. Growth potion. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna have to catch a turkey and a growth potion and we need more water. So let's start by making more of these jars. Oh, okay. Is that really all the clay? And this growth potion needs this stuff. Which is missing dragonfly wing and milk. Okay, so we need milk. What on earth? Oh. Blood. I think that was from the mosquitoes. Bug icor. Man, this game's getting getting a little complex. Not in a bad way. Oh, I could do this and make one of these. That'll get the leeches. Okay, so we are going to have to go back to the swamp. We could do... How many of these can I make? A couple. Okay.
So the swamp we opened, that's the forest. This must be the swamp. Yeah. Oh, no thank you. You coming after me? Snag vine, I don't have any snag vine. But I am looking to get rid of you. There's the blood. Oh, oh, you. Do the mosquitoes need smoke pellet? Here. I'm out of clay. nowhere in the swamp to get clay. Uh, let's take a few more of these guys, though. And the embalming salts. Uh, not sticking around. Just stealing that uh, snail. the sick lady, that's right. Alright, it looks like I need the forest for clay. Or the farm. Oh, what are you? Ooh, the dog is... okay. Pardon? Ooh, okay, I'll take that for sure. Nah. Uh, why can't I walk? Wait, what's happening? Just all of a sudden stop walking. Uh... Can I use this? Oh, okay. That was super strange. Uh, water. We did get the water in the forest, but we also can get it from the lady with the pump. But we do need more clay. We'll do the forest. Still locked. I wonder what's back there. When oh, this. Okay. 
turkey gizzard. That's right, we gotta see how we get a turkey. Okay, so we're done with here. Now we needed to get... Is it more mosquitoes? Graveyard. Bug Icor. Wasn't that... Wasn't that in the graveyard? Or in the swamp? The graveyard? Check here. We're not working on bear right now. So straight up. Who is this? Oh my gosh! Like, is that an apple tree? Cinderbox. So we are going to make a smoke bomb. Oh, he got me. Well, apparently only worked on those two. Alright, we got the blood. We still need... Maybe that's not the bug eye core. Oh, we did get it. Okay. We have that. Now the growth. Okay, now we need this thing. Insect wing. Dragonfly wing. Those are the dragonflies, aren't they? Right here. Bait stick! Okay, I have bait stick. Uh, inventory. Oh, okay. I come back. Do I need... Let's do another one if I can. <laughs> oh, that gives you bug eye core as well. Take some of your oh so it's bright okay now we can probably make that growth potion now no need this I need milk <laughs> now we have to go back to the farm which if I remember correctly is this way No, it'd have to be back the way I came. Through the forest, and then it's back through the forest. So, let's go... How far away are we? Alright, just follow it around.
Let's find ourselves a turkey. And I need some milk. Turkey? Digestive tablets. I don't want to know what's going to happen to this turkey. Swamp. I have new goblin snot. What the? Okay. I gotta go back to the swamp. I have newt and goblin swamp. Snot. Oh, no, this is forest. I think it was that thing that was chasing me. This should be the forest. No, apiary. But you can't do anything here just yet. Yeah, gobble at me all you want, turkeys. You're going down. One of you is. Sorry. In advance. Okay, so the forest entrance is here. there was like a uh, a compendium that told me like all the creatures I've encountered and what it takes to take care of them or to get what you need out of them rather like kind of the opposite of actually taking care of them okay, I remember him there goblin right a dreadful doll okay so I have to make another one of those good I Oh, I need a grasshopper leg. <sighs> Back to the field. See, that would have saved me so much time if I just had... I still feel like that young woman in the glass case is actually me, the protagonist. All right, where did I find you, little little hoppers? Here's one. See if I can make this doll. Awesome. Well, I got him. He got me, though, pretty good. Okay, so now we have the goblin snot. Now we need I have new... right? Wait, we did this.
Oh, the, I need the milk for that. Turkey gizzard, okay. And the turkey needed the digestive tablets. But yes, we need one eye of newt. Ah, <sighs> okay. Definitely get the milk on our way back through. We gotta go back into the swamp now. Which is up here. And figure out how to get rid of the newt. Hopefully it's something I have. Nope. Get away from me. You are no joke. Alright, what well, looks like a newt? None of you. Mosquitoes. Nope. Mosquitoes and leeches. That's the dragonfly. It's the drake. back here. Okay. This little stick figure thing. Stick totem. Okay. Looking for a lizard. A lizard of sorts. Oh, you! Bait stick. Okay. I almost forgot about that thing. Make a couple of these. Back. Oh, good, we got a couple. All right. Now we have everything we need to make the digestive tablets. We get the turkey. Oh, okay. This is a process. Actually, we can warp back this way. And then we just need to get a thing of milk. So where am I? The cow is down here. Yeah, the cow's right here. Literally next- right next to the cow. Okay. There's that. Turkey is way up. I can make the growth potion. Oh, I gotta make this. And then make the growth potion. Okay. We have all of our pieces. Here he is. Talk to him. Oh, talk to the cabbage. Here you go. Crushed into fine powder, a gizzard stone lends potent nutrients to the soil. You look down at the fattest little cabbage you've ever seen. Okay. Spritz the cabbage with fresh, clear water while uttering a simple horticultural charm. The water beads like dew drops before the leaves drink them up and brighten in color. The budding plant changes to a bright purple, then blue, then yellow. It suddenly goes rigid and shrinks to the size of a marble. What? He 
takes one step in your direction but stops abruptly when a tremor shakes the ground. You look to your feet and watch deep cracks split the earth. Hold on to your hat. This one's gonna be big. You hear a booming giggle echo from deep in the ground. The vegetal farmer falls to his knees, clutching his hat to his chest. In an explosion of leafy greens and flying earth, the bouncing head of an enormous cabbage erupts into the field. The farmer reaches out to it shakily. My... my little baby. Paw paw? The farmer scrambles towards the big bumbling cabbage with open arms. My beautiful baby, look at how big you've grown. See? With a little love. And help from your friends. You're sure to win first prize after all. Oh, I don't even care about that zilly... Zat silly zing anymore. Just look at how handsome my baby is. The two embrace, laughing and crying. I guess you won't be needing that watering can anymore. Please, help yourself. You've helped me more than enough. Oh, look at it. It's cute. Thank you. Okay, so we need a potion of flight, weird water, and pumpkin jack bone. Which is where we'll start in the next episode. Thank you for watching.